Mailboat services and other inter-island connections moving into full swing with more border relations being lifted. Our Kelsey Johnson is at Port Ski Dock. Kelsey? Good morning, Makushla. Good morning, Bahamas. We're on the northern side of a very busy port ski dock. I mean, only thing left for my cameraman, Randy, to do is actually drive the forklift because I have already placed a couple of boxes on one or two of the pallets. Now, joining me live this morning is Captain Jed Munro. We're going to leave all of that for the experts because they know exactly what to do. Captain Munro, if you talk, tell us about, you know, taking freight, um, what do you do and how to make sure that all the person's items are secured? Well, as you can see, um, as the items, uh, the boxes and parcels arrive here for transport, we try to make sure that everything is clearly labeled uh, as to who it's going to and exactly where it's going as, because we have a few stops. And to ensure that the packages get off in the correct destination, they have to be clearly labeled and marked. Now, you're sailing the island link at 4 p.m. today. This is the first time you'll be actually taking passengers with you? Oh uh, yeah, that is correct. Uh, we are now for the first time able to transport passengers since late uh, March, since the pandemic started. So they got a few rules in place, new rules in place. Uh, for instance, you got a social distance while on board the boat. So um, I won't take my normal load of passengers that I normally do. That would allow me to at least have the person traveling to exercise some sort of uh, social distancing, you know. So how many persons can you um, take aboard now? Uh, well, I'll, I'll try to keep it to 15, 20 max at the most. Normally, um, we're allowed to move like 50, 55 passengers, but I think I'll keep it down to about 50% uh, capacity to allow for social distancing. Is that a major loss in, in revenue? I wouldn't say it's a major loss. You know, we're still able to move and, and make a small profit. Uh, not a, it's not a significant loss, you know. And at 4 o'clock, where will you be sailing? Uh, well, when, once we depart Nassau today, our first stop will be uh, Georgetown, Exuma, and then on to uh, Long Island, send Long Island. All right, thank you so much, Captain Munro. We're looking at a live shot at the, of the island link. Now, like I said to you earlier, Makushla, they are taking freight. They'll stop taking freight around about 1 p.m. today. They are set to sail to Exuma and Long Island at 4 p.m. And this will be the first time since the pandemic started that they will be allowed to take passengers. Captain Monroe just told me that only 15 to 20 persons will be allowed on the boat compared to the years or the months prior where they had about 50 to 60 persons. So we're going to stay here, watch a little, see how they pack this pack and board the ships and stuff like that Makushla, and we're going to toss it back to you hopefully randy will learn how to drive one of the forklifts so back to you in the studio Makushla.